Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today I have some, what we might call some good news. I also have an excerpt from a video of one of my gurus. Uh, you guys know already I have been mentioning a lot of times in this channel that I um, usually watch Tone Vase, Phil RX from Pro Indicators, and also there is a third one that I don't mention so often. Actually, I think I only mentioned it once or twice, but he is also one of the best traders I've ever seen live on YouTube. Um, and his name is Ales Rastani and of course you can search for his channel on YouTube and I would advise you guys to do so instead of those clickbait trolls that a lot of people follow on YouTube and they don't know shit about uh, technical analysis. So today I would like to show you just something from Alessio Rastani's latest video and also I have a few ideas. In fact, one of the ideas is uh, I saw it on the video that uh, he published today and I would like to share that with you guys. And also there is something new that I will show you on the price to time model. So without further delay, let's go. Uh, just before we go, if you like the content, gently touch the like button. Uh, if you are new to the channel, subscribe and share it with your friends. And now, yes, let's go to screen share. So this is the price to time model just uh, for you guys to see how the uh, developments are going. You guys know already that I, I plotted this orange dashed line here at the bottom. And so far, the RSI, when the RSI wants to zoom, of course, so far the RSI is still just a bit below that orange dashed line. And uh, so this is the absolute bottom of the RSI during that 75% crash of the 2013 cycle. And so far we have been going a bit below that. So I would say that comparing to the RSI, comparing it right now to the 2013 bull cycle after the 75% crash, we are a bit oversold already on that comparison. But what I would like to show you guys is something. Um, so I, I, I was playing with the charts again today. So let me just get the right tool here on TradingView. And I want to make a, a candle pattern. And I will get the cycles, the previous two cycles that Bitcoin had, the bull cycles, and compare them to the current cycle. So the first one I will compare is, of course, the one that started in um, 2000, uh, 2011 here, November 2011. This was the absolute bottom of that bull cycle. And I will take the candle pattern to exactly the top. And now I will take the candles pattern and put them exactly where the market bottomed for this cycle, which was around. So the market bottom of this cycle was the 10th of December 2018. And I will put it there just for you guys to see. So I guess this is in place. Let me just compare. Uh, so open close bars. Let's leave it blue. And now I would like to show you also, or I'd like to make a new candle pattern using the 2017 cycle. And this will, I will start the candle pattern exactly at the market bottom and also take it to the top of, 2000, of December 2017. And here it is. And we will move it again to the same place. Let me just change the color of this one because it's not easy to see. So let's put this dark green here. It's not easy to see where I'm. Uh, I have to adjust it there. OK. So there it is. Or let's make it yellow because you guys can see it better if this is a vivid color. OK. So now, guys, just look at this comparison of the three bull cycles. So this is what I consider one of the uh, good news for today, for the, today's video. 
and this is the 2013 cycle that ended actually with the top of 2014 already so this one was very rapid and going a lot to the upside as compared to the bottom where it started the yellow one is the previous bull cycle that culminated in december 2017 and look where we are these are the green and red candles that you see here so look at this comparison with the previous cycle so of course i've been saying that we had the drop a very big drop this 50 54 or 55 percent drop that we had recently is very comparable to the 2013 2014 cycle and it is of course if you guys see this area here but comparing to the 2017 cycle look that we are still ahead of time and we are still above just a bit above where exactly on that cycle we were in 2017. so to say that this is a bear market in my opinion is stupid uh, a lot of clickbait trolls on youtube are just saying that this is a bear market already of course what they want is to get more views on their videos and the clickbait uh, titles because they are clickbait trolls so they write clickbait titles to attract people to watch those videos saying that we are already in a bear market and i would like to ask you guys watching my video if you consider this a bear market when comparing to the 2017 cycle we are still above and ahead in time comparing to what happened on 2017 in 2017 sorry so this is the comparison i wanted to show you guys today uh, regarding the price to time model and also that the rsi is a bit oversold as compared to the 2013 and 14 bull cycle so post this i would like to show you guys the video that i was mentioning at the beginning of my video and the video is by alessi rastani as i said before one of my gurus the one that uh, one of the traders i really watch those three traders so tone phase phil rx by the the guy that created the pro indicators framework and alessi rastani he is a great trader so i just want to show you guys a two minute uh, a, a two minute video that i um got from his uh, video published today and just listen to what he has to say so let's see here it is i will play it for you now and here's something i want to mention to you guys a lot of people are thinking that this drop in the price of bitcoin means we're in a bear market that is incorrect look it is very dangerous to call something a bear market just because it's dropped by some arbitrary number so what's happening is some youtubers and some bitcoin chartists are wrongly saying that bitcoin is in a bear market just because it's dropped by 50 percent so they're looking at the price of bitcoin and saying oh, okay because it's dropped 50 percent from its highs to its lows therefore this is now a bear market that is not correct i spoke with a fantastic chart analyst her name is linda rashke and she said you cannot use an arbitrary number like 25 percent 30 percent 40 percent 50 percent to determine a bear market these arbitrary numbers like a 50 percent drop does not mean that price has moved into a bear market for example let me show you this back in 2016 we saw a near 40 percent drop as you can see here price of bitcoin dropped almost 40 percent from its highs to its lows now let me ask you this was that a bear market it couldn't be in fact as you can see here the price of bitcoin continued to rally higher and higher over the next several months and years in fact here's another one for you here's another example for you this is back in 2017 in june of 2017 have a look the price of bitcoin traced out a very similar pattern as you can see it dropped in an abc type pattern again classic elliott wave pattern but just because it dropped 40 percent does that mean it dropped into a bear market no again bitcoin continued to rally higher you can see the price of bitcoin went from from about 2000 all the way up continued to go higher and higher into 4000 8000 10000 eventually up to 19000 so guys my point is it is very dangerous to use arbitrary numbers like 20 percent 30 percent 40 percent 50 percent to determine a bear market that is not how you identify a bear market so guys so far so good bitcoin has put out a very nice decent abc pattern which we've been expecting now for some time 
So there's our ABC pattern. We've held, we've held above the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level, bounced from this level, and we're right now, currently as I'm making this video, we're above the 200 SMA on the daily chart. So guys, let me ask you, what do you think about this? Uh, of course, I would not even like to compare uh, Alessio Rastani to those clickbait trolls that know nothing about technical analysis and know everything about attracting people to leverage exchanges and uh, giving them one-way tickets to wrecked city. Uh, but of course, Alessio Rastani is a top trader. He is a guru. Uh, I, I listen to him a lot of times and today he also showed something very, very important that I want to share with you guys. So just moving along from the um, price to time model, I would like to take you guys to the daily chart of Bitcoin and something that I had noticed before, but I never thought that just going back in time, this would be so historic and so important. So the fact is that the MACD, if you like, uh, if you like, if you look, if you look at the one day, uh, the daily Bitcoin chart on the index or any other that goes really far uh, long in time. So you will see that right now the MACD is negative 4,400 and something really 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 negative so this is below 4400 negative now what's really interesting is that if you go back in time and you put all the all you can have on the chart here you will see that let me just try to go back in time as much as i can And this is the maximum. It doesn't go beyond this 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 date here. So I guess this is uh, some limitation on trading view that you cannot see more on the daily chart. You cannot see more than all this uh, far uh, distant in time. And this goes to around the beginning of July uh, 2013. And now, guys, tell me, what do you see here? It's amazing that you cannot see a MACD so low in all of Bitcoin's history. This is, of course, here we have the peak of 2017 bull cycle near the 20,000 here. After that, we had the big correction, 85% correction, if you go to the lows here. But the first big correction of after that cycle, we had a MACD negative of 1,470. Negative 1,470. And right now, right now, the MACD is negative 4,450, around 50. So what do you think this means, guys? This is the most negative MACD on the daily chart ever in Bitcoin's history. Do you think that we will continue to go down from here? At least in, you know, in the short term. I don't believe that we will go much further down. In fact, I believe that a big move is coming. And only the ones that don't uh, take the opportunity to buy the dip will miss it. So I am not missing it for sure. And I am already saying this in my video because I wanted to show you this uh, to you guys. I will just zoom in again. Not again. I will zoom in because I didn't do it uh, before. I will zoom in and I will show you guys. The MACD is an historic low or negative 4,430. I never seen this in Bitcoin's history. No one has ever seen this in Bitcoin's history because since 2000, July 2013 at least, this is the lowest the MACD has ever been. So this is extremely, extremely oversold for what we have been uh, having so far. And I don't believe that we could have much uh, lower levels than this, at least in the short term. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, of course, uh, let's see how the time is going. So we are on 15 minutes already. And I wanted to show you this because I think this is important. So today was a bit of a different video. I wanted to show you guys that except, uh, ex excerpt, 
Jesus, I can't say the word anymore. Uh, I wanted to show you that that piece of a video from Alessio Rastani saying that, of course, he's very polite and he's very political correct, politically correct. Uh, so he said that it's incorrect to say this is a bear market. I would say that the clickbait trolls that are announcing it right now are just stupid. So I'm I'm not so uh, polite as Alessio Rastani is, but... Um, that's what I think. So we are not in a bear market for sure. And we cannot use arbitrary numbers to declare a bear market. A bear market has a lot more characteristics than just a 50% drop from the all-time high. And you heard it from one of the top traders that are there on YouTube anywhere that you can see. He is one of the best. Uh, I also didn't hear Tone Vase, for example, saying that we are already in a bear market. I also didn't hear Phil RX saying the same. So I believe that we are not on a bear market. So let me just go here and uh, stop screen share. So let's go back to my full screen image. So um, in sum, you saw the comparison of the previous two bull cycles comparing to the one that we are currently in and we are ahead of time and we are also above what we were in 2017 for example so the the current bull cycle is actually in the middle of those two so i can say that we are ahead of time we are also above the levels of 2017 bull cycle and you also heard Alessio Rastani saying that this is not a bear market. This is not how we declare a bear market. And also the MACD was uh, something I wanted to share with you guys. We never seen this negative level before. So here it is. Okay, I will just say to end this video that if you enjoyed the content, please gently touch the like button, share it with your friends. I hope it will calm them down. And if they are not subscribing to this channel, ask them to subscribe to the channel, of course. And I will see you guys again in the next one. Bye bye.